Hello guys and welcome back to Small World of Tanks today and bringing you uh, a few replays. Um, I'll probably get to those once I've finished about the main subject I'm going to be talking about today, which is um, going up the tank lines. Um, now I've been, I haven't been doing that uh, for a while because I've gone up most of the tit, uh, tank lines, so I haven't had to grind or anything like that. Um, and I've just started doing that now because I've been going up some of the Cold War lines just because I was a little bit bored. Uh, and I, there's a few tanks I want in the tank line, even though I don't really play Cold War very much. Um, just some kind of tanks I want for my tank collection, really. Not necessary to play very much or anything, but I kind of just want them there. Um, and obviously, going for the grind uh, that I've, you know, kind of forgotten about until having to redo it again and i'm just realizing how painful it, it, it is um now obviously because of cold war we've had a, an influx of kind of new players who are interested in playing the cold war game and the more modern tanks and things like that um and i do you're just thinking you just got to put yourself in the shoes of a new player and not even necessarily a new player if you're um, grinding tank lines, you'll know as well as they do how hard it is. Um, and I think Wargaming could easily change this up uh, and make this a lot more fun for people to play. Uh, just imagine if you're a new player. And obviously, I think these days you do get an introduction to the game. You get a play against bots, I think, for a few games or whatever. Uh, but don't really give you a proper tutorial on how to actually play the game or anything. Uh, so it is, um, <clears throat> you know, you could say um, it doesn't really teach you about the game. Uh, so when you do go into a game with actual players, you're going to get absolutely wiped. Um, which is probably true, right? Um, but you've got to think they they don't know... You know, especially new players, they don't know about the game. And the first, I could, no, the first few hours of any game is really what sells the actual game and really makes you go, well, is it a game I'm going to be playing for a long time or am I going to give up on the game? Um, so the first few hours are very important. So you get, okay, you get a few, few games with against bots or whatever. Uh, and you might get a false sense of security playing those games. You might be go, oh, I actually enjoy this. Uh, but obviously after that, it's not bots. You're going to be playing against real players um, for the most part, right? Most people are going to be choosing that option. They're not going to be playing against the AI all the time. Uh, and you're going to be going up stock tanks. Um, and as we know from most of us have a fair amount of experience, some lines are better than others, right? But in general, going out in stock tanks is not fun. Um, so, you know, like I said, especially for new players, you're going to be going out in a new game in a stock tank that is really slow. Um, its gun can't pen any, anything. It doesn't do much damage to when it does pen. And the enemy seems to be able to obliterate you in a few hits, right? Uh, it's just not fun. And... You know, even for veteran players who have, you know, maybe put in uh, good crews and put in equipment and put in premium rounds and all that, it can still be a right old drag. Um, like I said, certain tanks, are, uh, certain lines are worse than others. But the, the general rule is it's pretty painful to go up stock tanks. Because um, I was going up, <clears throat> I was going up the BMP line in the Cold War game. Now, um, now, obviously it's supposed to be a light tank, but obviously without the track upgrades and the engine upgrade, it's actually pretty damn slow when you first get it. And on top of that, you've got a very bad gun, which has got sh slow shell velocity uh, and can barely pen and things. So basically, you're just a... Uh, just sitting there letting the enemy kill you and hoping to get a bit maybe a bit of assisted uh and that just isn't fun that's not a fun game mechanic uh just going well 
I am literally useless in this game. I can't really do anything. Um, uh, and if anybody comes to one-on-one -on -one me, because, you know, let's face it, there are some people who will just randomly push into your tank, uh, you know, rush you. Now, normally, you go, well, that's kind of ruined my game, but at least I come out on top. But if you're in a stock tank and they're not in a stock tank, you're going to come off worse, and that's going to reward their bad gameplay uh, and punish you for uh, just not having uh, a better gun on your, on your tank, that which you can't get until you get the XP to get it. Um, now, you're thinking, all right, well, this is... They have improved it. In recent times, they've improved this, the grind a little bit, right? But um, at the end of the day, it's still pretty awful for most of the tanks are going up. And then on, uh, you're just thinking, well, okay, how would you do it? I'll do it like how most modern games do things like that, like leveling up in in a normal in a normal uh, shooter or something like that. You get cosmetics. You unlock cosmetics. So you start up, start off with um, whatever tank, uh, the T29 or whatever, uh, and it's fully equipped. It's top. Uh, it's fully upgraded, uh, and you've got, you know, whatever, fifty thousand XP to get up to the next tank. Now, you know that is a bit of an annoying drag. You've got to play lots of games in it. But it's going to be funner. It's it's going to be fun because you're a top. You know you've got the top gun. You've got top everything. Uh, it's a it's a fun tank to play out, play uh, play and get the top amount of XP you need to, rather than having to go play. I don't know, get ten thousand XP to get uh, a track upgrade that makes you go a decent speed or get 20,000 XP to actually get a gun that can actually pen uh, the same tier tanks. Um, uh, you know, uh, the, you know. I'd rather play 100 games with uh, a fully upgraded tank than play 10 games with a gun that I can't pen any of the enemy tanks with, you know? Um, and like I said, it's a simple fix. Just give us a fully upgraded tank as soon as you got, uh, as soon as you get it, uh, and give us cosmetics. So you get ten thousand, you get a new uh, summer camo. Uh, play another ten thousand, you get an urban camo. Or give us a, a free inscription, inscription, or something like that. It's just fun little things that help you encourage you to grind out the 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 tank but um you know you don't need a massive encouragement to um play the tank because it's actually fun to play because it's fully upgraded and you can actually compete against the um uh enemy tanks you're up against um i mean let's face it um part of the encouragement would be to get uh crew skills right because there's always that factor that you're going to go out, if you're a new player, you're going to be going out in a tank without any any crew skills on, on your tank. And you're going with an up, un upgraded tank as well. So why not just give us a fully upgraded tank and let the players um, actually get XP to upgrade their, their crew, you know, because that's always... Uh, nice to be able to choose your crew skills right um and i just think we would have a lot more players um have a lot more players who stick the game out if we did it did it that way rather than you know having to grind through stock tanks which are really not fun you know I give up, you know, I've got going up four different lines at the moment because they split off. Um, and honestly, I'm just like, I just want to get my daily double and then I'm going to play a different tank because, you know, it might take you several matches to get your daily double because you're not really helping the team very much because your tank's really rubbish. Uh, so you're just going out in this tank and you're just losing three games in a row because you, you can't help your team. And then... 
get your daily level and it's like right good good right i don't have to play that tank anymore uh and that's not really how the game should you know it's not really how you want to be playing the game right um so yeah that's just what i think of the grinding at the moment um and how wargaming could fix it to make the game a lot more fun for new players and old players to be fair um and to retain players that's what the, the problem is it's like like i said new players first three hours of any game is gonna decide whether that person's gonna st stick around or play a different game and if you have to start a game where you've got no chance against the N other players in the game then why would you stick around to play any more of that punishing game all right okay we're in the bellerophon which is uh from greek mythology um it is uh, the name anyway and hence the uh stupid shapes and stuff on like oh yeah it's one of those ones where you go i really don't like the look of this tank i think i i think i got it from one of the halloween challenge or from a key card or something um because obviously i would not buy this tank cause it's awful looking um but it is a good tank now we are going across here because there's people crossing as you can see a majority of our team have gone down the um uh the ice road i call it like um the a b line it's oh, it doesn't really go along any lines i guess uh but you know what i mean down there and um it's quite unfortunate uh so i normally would push up to uh j y uh g1 uh i usually fight on that corner but there's not many people here to help us so um and like i said majority of the team gone down the other way so i'm just gonna stay here and once i see uh the enemy uh kind of on that corner that I want to stay on I'll um, I'll pull back and hope that our team pushes around quickly enough uh, to support us before we get absolutely crushed but it looks like a lot of their team is sitting across there we get massive hit into us 500 damage don't know what that was really and then we see the IS3 is over there so they've got to that corner um, looks like the only reason we're doing well is the other team are playing just as badly as our team. They look like they're camping on that side and not pushing, uh, luck, which is very lucky. Like I said, they're um, playing worse than our team. Um, so it looks like, and I, I don't realize this yet, but we've actually got um, people behind us, and I didn't actually realize that. And now is when I realize that I'm thinking, right, okay, we've got to push these guys. We've got to take these guys out. Else we're going to get shot in the in the behind. Uh, and that wouldn't be good because we're going to get shot in front and front. And from the behind, that's not going to end well for us. So we're going to push this medium and heavy over here. And luckily, he has got his back to us. So we can pen these shots nice and easily. We push up a little bit. And... I don't think he's quite realised that we're hitting him there. So pen that one. Luckily dodged that uh, incoming shell. Nice. Hoping to ram him to death, but not happening. Luckily got him out of this game. Took, a, took one hit that I didn't really want to. So we're now turning back around. Um against these guys in h1 and h2 if there is a maybe there still um so you've had not a bad game and that is3 is pushed around luckily fluffed his shot um i'm trying to finish him off and he's gonna let us for some reason uh yeah then we're gonna well we're gonna push now because the enemy is basically lost this game right uh, it's 10 to 6. 
Oh, 10 to 8. Uh, we load the premium to make sure every shot counts because we're going to probably die here. Because we are on our own. Yeah, he's falling back, so obviously he's uh, reloading. But I'm not sure we're going to get enough shots in to finish him off. He's getting behind cover. He's doing the right wing. Oh, and he's coming. Trying to track him in place. Unfortunately, just not quite quick enough to get my <laughs> last shot into him. A uh, bit annoying that no one's come back to actually help. But there you go. You know, that's, that's the teams these days. So we've got about 4,000 combined two kills. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Considering that game could have gone very badly very quickly. Because of the, the way our team set up there. Um... But I enjoy the tank. Just don't like the way it looks, so I don't use it as much as maybe I, I could, uh, or would want to if it looked half decent. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst Halloween tank out there, that's for sure. Uh, it's definitely some worse ones there. But yeah, if they took the, um, obviously that. Um, extra bit on the front which makes it look silly like a, a like a helmet does actually work as ar armor so i don't know how they would solve that you know if they wanted to make it look half decent would be to take it off but then you wouldn't have the extra armor i guess you could replace it with normal kind of armor and we're going round this the Iron Rain's got. I I do like the Iron Rain. It's a good tank, but um, yeah, it's just again, it's just got all these tanks that I like. Um, I can never. That's why I can never free mark anything, for a few reasons. Because a, it's frustrating. B, it's well, I go out in the tank. I get killed in it pretty quickly, and then I'm like, "Oh, I haven't played this tank for a while, and I really like this tank." And then I end up just playing different tanks because um, I've got so many ones that you know. I just go, "Oh, I haven't played that in a very long time. Let's go out in that one." As you can see, first class ain't bad. Have not many badges or ribbons or anything like that in in that um, game. Unfortunately, just a plain old damage dealing game without too many kills or anything but uh, all right last game is in the grill 15 i do i do really enjoy this tank the gun is very punchy it's very accurate it, it's not as stealthy as i would like i think i keep thinking about like um maybe replacing one of the equipment slots and putting in like um giving it better horsepower and and sp extra speed so it just can get away because what i normally do is act as support wait until i get spotted pull back uh get behind something uh until my i'm unspotted then pop out again uh trying to stay unspotted for a little while and then pull it back again if i have to that kind of gameplay um in this thing because it is just oh i just really like it it's just the gun is so accurate so punchy got good penetration it's just really nice and i don't go out in it as much as i would like uh and there you go penned yes okay it was the low, lower uh, plate is it gonna still be there reloads a little bit longer than i would like um just gonna go for it and he was still there and we took him out of the game for very quick 1300 damage there there's my counterpart on the enemy team uh, doing what he should be doing when spotted, hiding away. And then, oh, he went out spotted and managed to. I managed to take that's two kills with three shots there. Uh, it was what was it? It's a tier eight, to be fair. And we got spotted for the first time. The team is the enemy team is losing uh, at this point, but then 
yeah, that's kind of expected after taking that amount of damage uh, from this gun. Uh, so yeah, we took two of the enemy out, and there's only three of them dead so far. So uh, yeah, we're just acting as support here. Um, seeing, yeah, thinking I was going to probably get shot by the my counterpart from the other way there. And of course, he goes straight for me. Uh, you know, normal RBAT, RBT, um, just flicking the controller and getting rewarded by that kind of play. We're sticking in the heat for that E100. Um, yeah, it's a bit annoying when you're like aiming, 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 and it misses or bounces, and then someone just just flicks onto you and pens you just like that and stuff and I, I don't know there's they could do something about that as well to be honest making sure people actually fire their shots and aim their shots waiting for him to face us bounced unfortunately hit the gun man a little bit rushed that shot a little bit um just waiting for another shell to load in it looks like the enemy is pulling back a little bit there now we are winning by quite a bit. I'm put in, so we put in the normal rounds again. Um, I'm not a big fan of heat because uh, it can get absorbed quite easy. Uh, so that's one downside of this tank. I would love, I would love to swap the heat for the AP, uh, for actual APCR. That would be amazing, but it ain't gonna happen. Um, we're staying behind these bushes to stay unspotted, waiting out of that corner, seeing if there's anybody going to be poking. And it looks like that IS-7 is now fully committed around the back there. And at this kind of point, I think I decide that we've got to push. If I can't see anybody here now when that guy goes up over there, then it's probably means the enemy has fallen back completely and i'm not going to get any more shots from here so we're going to rush in we've got plenty of hit points to play with um we took the one bit of damage so far uh so we're going to rush in and make sure we get a couple more shots off before this game finishes right uh because yeah we got three thousand well close to four thousand combined a couple kills that ain't a bad game um seeing if we get a shot on this guy as he falls back uh not seeing anything so and the teams are a little bit more equal now right they've got they got a couple kills just then um and when it's eight to seven but uh here we go okay and there yeah didn't have many hit points but uh that's another gun out of the game a dangerous gun out of the game so see if we can f help put our team into for a win and our team is not really pushing up now um, so we are in a bit of a this dangerous situation there's a couple of uh, enemies of the enemy team over the other flank uh, but we've only got two tanks in support here um, so I, just a minute ago I was willing to put my um, hit points in just because I thought we were going to win uh pretty dramatically but looks like the uh teams are all kind of like equalizing out right now uh so we're going to be a little bit more cautious so we don't throw a tank away unfortunately can't get a shot on that guy a bit annoying and there's a td he's hiding behind that hill uh seeing what he's going to do waiting for him to put a shot into this guy um I think he's fired. I think he's fired. I'm going to put a shot into him. We t take him out. Again, not too many hit points. And this guy's going to push over and hit, hit me. Annoying. And it actually looks like the TD, uh, the artillery is there. Okay. Put a lovely shot into him. Again, fifth kill of the game. Uh, and 5,000 combined. And probably not going to get to this guy in time. Uh, but you never know right he's up against one other tank so he could kill that guy and we might be able to reach him before this medium probably not or the artillery um but it's always worth trying guys you got you you know don't don't give up um because 
six kills would be a lovely addition to the end of this game. Even though his hit points are very low, a six kill would be nice, right? Um, and an extra kill can make the difference between having a second class versus the class and a mastery. So, yeah, we're going to push. I think he's probably trying to go for artillery. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pushing up. Uh, thinking he's going to be f going for artillery or just running away in general. Um, we'll see. There he is. Kind of rushed that shot, but uh, such an accurate gun. There you go. So about five and a half combined in the end. And six kills. Nice game. Great tank. Uh, only comes second, though. Anyway, if you did like the video, guys, give it a like. Um, please subscribe because it helps me out. And I'll uh, be bringing you more videos like this in the near future. Uh, yeah. Goodbye.